At CDI, we have a lot of options for patients that are claustrophobic. One of the more popular options is the open upright MRI. Amanda? Hi, come on back. I'm done. The upright scanner is unique in that we don't have the patient laying down for all of the scans. It's built with two magnets that the patient goes between instead of having the magnets surround them. We're going to give you some earplugs to help protect your hearing, okay? okay? When we have a patient that needs to have an MRI of their brain, we'll have the patient sitting in the chair and what we'll do is bring the coil down over the top of their head. It's like a football helmet when we put it on. We'll put some sponges around the head coil to make sure that their head feels stable, but not restricted. Um, we just want to make sure that the patient doesn't move during the scan because we don't want them to be in there any longer than they have to be. We'll give the patient a squeeze ball every time they go in for an MRI and that way they can communicate with us if they're having any issues while the scan is going on. Upright shoulder positioning is unique in that you're going to be laying on the side of interest. So if you're having a right shoulder done, we're actually going to have you laying down on your right side. So if the patient is symptomatic and they don't feel like they're going to be able to lay on that side, then this wouldn't be something we'd recommend. But for most patients, they're able to tolerate it well, and it gives them the ability to turn their head to look out of the scanner instead of having something right in front of their face. Does that feel comfortable? Good. And are you still able to look out and see the TV? Yes. Okay, excellent. You need to put this piece around your neck. Um, so I'll ask that you try and keep your hair out if you can. The majority of the exam is going to be done with the patient in a neutral position. That's with them comfortable, and that takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, then what we'll do is set them up for the flexion and extension sequences. Doing okay? With the flexion exam, your head is going to be tilted down, and then with the extension sequence, your head's going to be tilted back. So those each take about a minute to a minute and a half to perform, and we make those quick because we know that the patient's going to be less comfortable during those scans. Um, we also have the lumbar flexion extension sequences, and with those, we would have you actually bend as much as you can with your lower back, and then we're going to have you in an extension position where we have you try to push your stomach outward. We see a lot of patients that have tried other places and they feel like there's no hope for them to have an MRI. They come to us, they have it on the upright, and they walk out with a smile on their face. Okay, nice job. Okay. All done.